All right, what is up, you spicy boys? I am back with a tutorial this time. This is on selectors for 1.13. Ooh, wow, fancy, spicy. This is my new 1.13 world. I'll probably keep put a download version for each of my 1.13 redstone command worlds in the description of videos, maybe. I think I'll start doing that, but it might be a little annoying. Um, anyways, so new mic. I don't know if I've said it before in a video. I'm recording these out of order. Anyways, so... We're going to go over each of these. It looks kind of long, but it won't take that long. Um, but hopefully you get the gist of how to do the uh, selectors. For for example, like in 1.12, you have at A, you could do score underscore test underscore min equals one. So it tests for, it says at A, it selects them if they have at least one on the test score and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to give everything in reference to 1.12. But if you don't know any of this, I mean, this you can still learn how to do it just you will not know what I'm saying when I say 1.12. Anyways, so first off, we have types. Types didn't change at all. Say hi, Addy type equals player. Easy peasy, boy. It says hi at the player, and that's it. Hi, if you see my name there, Cloudwolf, or something next to hi, that means that it's working. So if you just see hi, that means it's not working. All right, so next, let's go up to tags. Tags is different. Oh, also, side note, types, you can put two types. So you could do type equals not player, and type equals not item so it will say hi to something that is not an item or a player so let's grab something that's not an item or a player um an armor stand so it'll probably say hi armor stand there you go oh and there's also a cleric and a sheep in my world okay you get the point next up we have tags tags everything works the same tag equals this tag equals that but you can put two tags in one so this says hi tag equals one i don't have the tag right now so it just says hi i'm going to give myself a tag of one and now it says hi cloud wolf now i click the next one it just says test because i don't have both tags one and two now i have tag one and two and it says test cloud wolf that will just remove my tags all right next is i think we're going to there was one we're going to skip over to MBT tags. Uh, now you have MBT tags. So at E, MBT equals curly brace. And this is where you need to get kind of used to be using these curly braces inside the brackets. It's a new thing, right? Um, but MBT equals this. So what this is going to do is going to say hi to any entity that is on the ground. So the cleric, the sheep, and cloud will fall on the ground. But also notice if I click this while I'm flying, the cleric, the sheep, and is, are on the ground, but I'm not which is what I thought was cool. There's a new tag that is look at that you can look at from the player called um, on ground, which is just really nice because there's a lot of command block contraptions where you want to make sure that the player is standing on the ground when you do something. I thought that was pretty cool. There's a bunch of other little tags and things about data tags um, that really makes this, this update really is about data tags, honestly. That's the most, Really, the most important part about this update, in my opinion, is that you can mess with data tags so well. Anyways, moving on, let's go to this one now. All right. So here we have radius. So radius, where it would be in 1.12, it would be test for at a radius equals two, and it would test for anybody in a radius of two from where the command's played. This one is distance. It's the same idea, same name, distance is now radius same thing everything good in fact to clear up some confusion let me add some carpets because red is going to represent the spot where you can be found so hi cloud wolf if i'm outside the red just says hi just like that and that is how radius works now you're probably wondering what is this so say hi at a distance equals dot dot three and the two dots are the important part because the two dots are a new syntax of doing greatest and least so x dot dot y in general we'll just call it that's the general form so the left side is going to be the smaller number which is your minimum the right side is going to be your bigger number which is the maximum so if you want to look for somebody between radiuses of three and five which is here and here if you do between radius of three and four it's really just going to do three kind of um, and that has to do with orientations i'm not going to talk about that um, but anyway, three and five is going to give us this two double ring, this like ring of finding me. So if I step inside the ring, it doesn't find me. If I step outside the ring, it doesn't find me. But if I'm on the red, it will find me. So that's how it works. So we do the first number is the minimum, the right, then two dots in the right number is the maximum. 
uh, that one is shows up in a lot of places so i'll keep saying it over and over speaking of which now we're on to scoreboards greater than three exact okay so we have a scoreboard called test i'm going to add one to my test score this is going to say hi if i have scores equals test one dot dot one all right so this is some new stuff and some old stuff so scores is new scores is anytime you're looking for a scoreboard scores with an s equals open bracket close bracket okay the two brackets inside the brackets you can put you put the name of the scoreboard equals and then the range so if i have uh, dummy is one of my scoreboard names i want to test for another one equals and then i do the range two dot dot three you, you just add the buttons and the range and all that stuff and that is all you need it's just you're gonna have to kind of play do it a couple times and you'll get used to having to do scores equals in the brackets um, so anyway so this is testing for someone that has one as the minimum and one as the maximum on test which means only one so it says hi cloud wolf because i have one if i click this button it is now it's see, see how it says now two my test score is two and it just says hi it doesn't find me this next one is searching for specifically only greater than three so what you do is you put if you're looking for something that's greater than, you put the number for the minimum, which is three, two dots, and you leave the rest blank. Three dot dot, which means we are searching for someone between ranges of three, and since there's no number there, we're just gonna call it infinity. So any high number higher than three. So it doesn't find me. Now that my score is three, it is gonna find me, just like that. And if you wanna do anything, if you wanna do scores that are less than, you just put four and you leave the left side blank. So this means any number less than four. So it finds me because my number is four still, but once it's five, it's above four. Oh wait, now it's four, it still finds me. Click it, now it's five and it won't find me because it's not less than four. So the next one is kind of cool as well. I mean, they're all kind of cool, but this one is like kind of a new thing. So we have limits. Before you would use C equals one, here we have a setup where we have coal, not what I was wanting. Let's get that distribution better. Okay. Coal, iron, gold, diamond. Got it? All right. So first we have this one, which is say hi at E type equals player limit type equals not player, which will pick the item limit equals one limit equals one means it picks one. And by default, it's going to pick the closest. So if I click that cleric, All right, we're going to kill this villager. We're going to kill this sheep. All right, if I pick type equals one, it's going to pick coal because it's closest here. All right, so it's picking the coal. It's like, hey, this is coal. This is coal. This is coal. All right, so it finds the coal because it's closest, but it's never finding the other items. This one is going to be limit equals two. If I pick limit equals two, it's picking the coal and the iron because they're the two closest, right? Um, and then if we go, if we skip over to this one, and pop these we will see how to get the diamond because maybe you want the furthest and not the closest so nearest is now this is a new one called sort so you have limit which tells you how many you're going to grab and by default it picks the closest each time so the first closest and then the second closest if you pick two if you pick three you get the the first second and third closest item so if you want to just do it the same way you go sort equals nearest sort is going to tell you where to start from whether you're saying with the nearest or the furthest so if i pick sort equals nearest it works the same way it's picking the coal but if i do sort equals furthest if i do sort equals furthest it's looking for the entity that's as the furthest away and picking the furthest number one furthest entity which is <laughs> it's raw mutton because what do you know the items over here are so much further away than the items over here. <laughs> um, man, just messing with me this time. All right. So it's picking the diamond because that's the furthest out of our four items here. Next, we have random, which will pick, as you guessed, you do sort equals random. It's not showing up yet. There we go. Sort equals random. And it just, you know, it picks a random one. Gold, diamond, coal. It'll eventually say iron. It's just random. Um, and lastly, we have arbitrary. Arbitrary is just going to really just make it work the same way it already did, which is just picking the nearest. All right, so we dealt with those sets. And I apologize for being a little out of order here. Um, I built them and then put it out, but they were in alphabetical order on the the sheet for the 1.13 update. But 
so they're kind of in alphabetical order here. So I didn't get to them until I got down to the bottom of the list. So anyways, so here we have the next one, which is rotations. And they changed Rx to X rotation and Ry to Y rotation. This command is looking for someone with the Y rotation, negative 45 to 45. The Y rotation, and this is just, if you probably already know it, is the left number here. The X rotation is the right number. So negative 7 is between negative 45 and 45, which will say high cloud wolf. But negative 170, this is not between negative 45 and 45. Negative 45 is here, 45 is here. This is not between those two, so it's just going to say high. And you can do it, you can mess around with the numbers, with min and max and all that good stuff. But it works the same as Rx. It just has the new notation with the min and the max. And it's called a different name of Y rotation, the full name. No no short shortened parts. All right, so next up we have X, Y, Z and DX, D, Y, D, Z, which I used a lot for detecting players and where they are. So here we have say hi, Addy. XYZ DX DY DZ 000. And if we click it, it'll say hi if I'm standing on this block right here. It's checking this entire square. See how it doesn't say it when I'm not on the square. Checking that whole square, right? Which is good, which is exactly what you want. It checks squares. And you can you can do DX as one and it'll check two squares, right? Uh, in the X direction. I'm not gonna go over how that works. I'm just going over the changes for 1.13. But you get the point. Now, the important part here is what I was talking about earlier with orientation. If I do distance dot dot one, so this would be the equivalent on 1.12 of having coordinates and checking for players in a radius. It doesn't work the way you would expect it to. It says hi when I'm on the block, which makes sense. But it says hi when I'm on this block, and it says hi when I'm on this block, and it says hi when I'm on this block. But it doesn't say hi when I'm on this block, or this block or any of the orange blocks. It says high on the green blocks. You might be like, what the heck? Why? That's not a radius of one around the point that you selected. That's obviously not a radius of one around the point you selected. That's because when you do numbers like this inside the X, Y, and the Z, you have to be specific to the decimal point. If you do this exact number, negative 1890, 56, 875, it's going to look at the exact point negative 1890 56 873 which is what i'm my cursor right here is looking right at it it's right there now the center of the block is negative 1889.5 56 and 873.5 so there's 0.5 in between it because it's in the center of the block but the block starts the the coordinates are right there so a radius this looks this square area does look like a radius of one around the point right there. So if we adjusted the point to be the middle, it would behave like we would think. All right, so next up we have advancements. I'm advan advancement. And this is going to say hi if I have it. So it, it looks messy, but it works just like scores. Um, you have advancements, which is your keyword, equals, and then open bracket, close bracket to check for multiple things. And you put the name of the advancement, which you kind of have to just find out or type in or you know what it is. And then equals true. So you're checking if they do have the advancement. Equals true means they have it. I can add another advancement like blah, 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 equals false. So I can check if they don't have sad as that, as that, that, that. If they don't have that, <laughs> if they don't have that advancement, then it will go through and say, hey, they don't have it, good, continue, we're selecting them because they don't have that one and they do have this one. Um, so yeah, so if I click that, it'll say hi to me. If I take off the advancement and click that, it won't say hi because I don't have the advancement anymore. Um, anyway, we're almost done, one more guys. So last is just, I combined them in the same because it's not that hard, complicated. We have level, which was used to be L and LM and game mode, which used to be M, uh, they just went to their proper names. So L, M, and L became just level, and you use the range thing as well. Check for someone between levels one and three, or check for somebody with more than one level. I'm gonna give myself one level, and it finds me, hooray. Um, if I say check for somebody with more than four levels, it won't find me because I, oh, well, how many levels do I freaking have? All right, somebody that has more than 40 levels because I know I don't. All right, yeah, I don't have more than 40 levels. All right, and then the next one is game mode equals survival. Check us if I'm in survival mode. I'm not in survival mode. Now I am in survival mode and it found me. Congratulations. All right, so we got through it. That was the selectors. 
hopefully that helped you guys or if you just had fun watching me suffer trying to make this work <laughs> good for you uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace